In this kata, people in other schools block like this with the arm at 45 degrees. In Motobodyu, the blocking arm is held vertical, which allows the fighting distance to be shortened, facilitating rapid counterattacks that are difficult for the opponent to stop. This is how most people block here. But we block in close like this with the arm vertical. Instead of blocking here, it is much more effective to get in close and attack the joint, which is weak. Other schools perform this sequence of techniques from Naihan Shikata like so, as a block and a sweeping block. It's not like this, but like this. When he tries to punch you, punch his attacking hand. Other people do like this. This is how we are different from other schools of karate. This movement, the crossing of the legs as you move, is a hidden technique. Actually, you are preparing to kick your opponent when you take up this position. So remember this when you practice the kata. Other schools of karate perform this technique with the arm bent, like this. In Motoburyu, the arm is held straight. You will notice that in other styles, they block to the outside like this. However, in Motoburyu, we keep exactly to the center. So you can see that this technique is actually a Tsukiyotoshi strike. Almost everyone interprets this technique as a sweep against the front kick, but this is incorrect. It is really a hidden technique, a kick at an opponent directly to the front, not a defensive sweep to the side. As I said, most people interpret this technique as a sweep. So when you practice Nihanji Kata, bear in mind that this is a front kick and move accordingly. これはもう。
起きるんだそれを出てきたのをここように見せることがある。This is the In this position, some people tighten their backside as if they were in Sanchin Dachi. Avoid this mistake and adopt a natural stance instead, with the feet spaced about the same width as the shoulders. To check that your stance is correct, kneel down like this, and you should find that there is the width of around one fist between your knees. This is how we do it in Motobulu. Don't tighten your muscles as if you were doing sanchin, but move in a relaxed and natural fashion. In multiple yu nai hanchi, we do not pivot from side to side, but turn the hips only slightly so the knee can be used to buckle the opponent's leg and ruin his balance prior to attacking him. Thank <laughs> you.